Alright, back to some more Spider-Man. Let's continue. Spider-Man 2. skill point. Yeah. Oh, hang on, I see. Ryan. Hey, Mars. I'm getting used to hearing that voicemail of yours. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, I'm glad. What? Oh, hold on. This one. There you go. Oh, bad landing. Crazy drivers. There we go. Oh, bad Spider Man. No, they're not getting another girl wet. Love to see it. Hey, I'm sorry, kind of busy. What? <laughs> Too busy to visit your fam? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. No need. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do. See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Miles. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. Off we go. Kind of a bit of an awkward run there. befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their pension for animal skins, but one thing mm -hmm. is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind right now. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. <laughs> when you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. 
Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors. All right, here we go. Just wanted to hear Triple J there. Sorry, nobody's getting branded today. Yep, there you go. You guys stick around there. Tell Pete about them. Mm. All right, up we go. Let's go to the main mission now. Let's see what's going on over there. Oh, crap. Just run into him. Crime reported, and it's on the way. Let's see, where are we? I see a photo op nearby, too. Get away from there. Dead. I'm so dead. Get back into the action. A little bit closer now. Oh, we should pluck that. Do that then. There we go. Done. Probably shouldn't tell Ma about how close I got to an almost exploding gas truck. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Wouldn't be a good idea, would it? Mm. 
I got another skill point. Cool. Title skill points one. We really got to do this with the mask on. <laughs> Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Oh. Could get it myself, but parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? In some, <laughs> how did you in miles that lead business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious, miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. Mm-hmm. Here we are. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. <laughs> the stash stays hidden until it detects the code for my suit. There we go.
There we go. Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. Have to go up. Yep. You would have made a decent prowler. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Yo, this is next level, man. Hit this whole room in plain sight. Yeah. Alright, All right, let's have a look around. What can we find? Finally, tell me what this is. Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. You received a rare tech part. Use your resources to unlock new suits, gadgets, and suit tech. are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... ¿Estás bien? Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again... Just let me in. Hello, Juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Maybe. Someone's playing with fireworks? Bad idea. Oh, hold on. Fireworks? Let's go have a look. Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit. Before someone calls the cops on you. Okay. Let's keep swinging. Alright. I've got a fair way to go. Watch out for the water! Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna go the other way. Other way. Remember? You on your way? Oh, right! That's today! Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. Uh -huh. Wait. We'll do this one later. That getting up in those people's faces. I'm there. We're ending this now. <laughs> Good night, buddy boy. Hands, think about <laughs> it. All right, not even a thank you. And that guy just climbed over the fence for some reason. 
Not sure why, but whatever. <laughs> Let's go see what's going on over here. Why are you doing it? Out. <laughs> Not this time. I see some crime. Let's go to the crime first and then we'll go to the other one. Should have known it'd be cultists. The flame will be disappointed if you say no. Don't you want to be Careful where you point that thing! You can stop them, Spider-Man! Oh, flamethrower guy. Nope. Oh, yep. How much hope is not taking any damage for this one? I did. I told you. <laughs> I've got a parry too. I keep forgetting to parry. Out in the open? Uh. Do this first then. Oh, 
Up we go. Shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Yeah. Right. <gasps> Where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. <sighs> we didn't hmm. know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago and he always loved them, so we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh man, I'm sorry. Spider-Man. Wow. Running late. Sorry. At least I can still wiggle my toes. <laughs> there we go. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Yeah, all right, let's go have a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Oops, excuse me. Why do people fall down? Where I was going. Yep, excuse me. Nobody wants a high five today. Disappointing. No. Alright. <laughs> Up and over. Let's do some. Watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. Oh, might be able to do some. So much for stealth. Hey guys, I just wanted to warn you about some shady characters selling bad. Yo, wait a second. Spiders here. Call the boy. We ain't losing this shipment. Grab this, Spider Man. Down you go, buddy boy. <laughs> Next. Well, he's a big guy. You go.
Yeah. No, no, no. They're lit. Oh crap. The river. I can chuck them. Wait. They lit two more. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah. Last crate. Where is it? Oh, there. Hurry, or this place is toast. I think I hit the van. Wow, really <laughs> nice. Happy birthday, Lex. Is that you? Oh man, I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved. It. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Yeah, let's switch to Peter now. <laughs> Damn, Peter, I'm having a drink. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. No, I might help. I was on do this mission now. Let's see if we can make it across the river, or he's going to go for a swing. Jake oh. Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. All right. I see some crime on the light. Yeah, there was a photo of us. Yeah. Maybe some light like hotel. It's probably. Give them focus. Let's have a quick look and see what it's about. Can't imagine how hard it is to open a food business in New York, let alone find success with it. Yeah. Say what you will about social media, and I can say a lot. It's helped so many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. That's nice. Yeah. Cultists trying to brand someone. You broke the flames. Look, this guy let man. them go. Spider-Man, Oh, hot. Just try to hit me. I'm trying to. <laughs> That's close. Ouch. What do you think you... I 
know you felt that. Got him. Probably best to let the city dispose of these branding irons, right? Mm -hmm. Probably. Probably is paid up. Bullet dive. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? The far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. <laughs> Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. All right, let's go for a walk. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. But like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Wait, are you serious? That data is not compatible with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? Where's Dr. Young? Over here. Oh, I don't know where I was going. You must be Peter. It's so nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. Yeah. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline. Primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. How so? Want to see how? 
Yun. Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! All right, there's another one there. Any more? Ah, here we are. Hear that, little bee wolves? You still get to pollinate another day too. Yes. That's a big one. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, apes there. Gotta protect the hive. That's a living. Yep. Not gonna mess with my bees. Nice. Here we go. Productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. <laughs> okay, that was kind of fun, to be honest. Those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real. You'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. All right. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. <laughs> nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. All right, let's have a look around. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Mm -hmm. something. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. <laughs> Maybe. What do we got here? What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. Not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Mm -hmm. Something I missed. Before. Hang on. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. The 
origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. to explore but I shouldn't keep Harry waiting I don't want to work here every day it's almost okay. too good to be true could start paying off the mortgage uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way mm hmm gotta think this through before signing on true true you do welcome to entomology oh, back here again drones yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the Energy Lab and the Agricultural Lab. Ultralight drones, using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. It is. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's go see Harry. I think I missed something. I know, I already spoke to that one. I think. Now let's go see Harry. Gotta go up that. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. I'm it's sure he does. Nerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. <laughs> Up we go. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. The middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. 
In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Hmm. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to move that one. Let's see. Interesting. To go there then. Shame that one. I have to go. Yeah. Analyzing. Success. Hooray. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're mm. ready to try the real thing. This no, is a plant mind. we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized, but ours are open source. Develop for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Do that for now. I can not move that one. Over here. And I can move that there. Let's so go back down here. All right. Yep, success. Hooray. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice uh. work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Okay, no, I can't put that one in there. Put you over here for now. I think we'll put that might work there, maybe. Um, I think one of these. Okay, if I combine these traits. Beautiful work, Peter. There we go. Analyzing success. Hooray again. Using this technology. We're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I knew a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Hmm. Attention employees, don't forget today's... Go ahead, swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it.
you join me? God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one quick thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. All right, we're gonna finish up here. I'll see you again soon. Hey, Bye. Sorry.